The New York Knicks fell to the Miami Heat 108 to 101 in game one of their second round series this afternoon at Madison Square Garden. The occasion marked the first time since 2013 that the Orange and Blue played in a second round series, but they could not deliver a joyful outcome for the Garden faithful. Julius Randle was ruled out right before the start of the game as he's still recovering from a left ankle sprain that he suffered in game five of the team's first round bout against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Quentin Grimes returned after being out since game three of that series, but would come off the bench. After the game, Knicks head coach Tom Thibodeau was not willing to say how close Randall is to his return, but said that the team has more than enough to compete. I, I don't know how close, you know, I know he worked out before, and I just trust him and the medical staff to make that decision. So if you go out, I plan both ways. I plan with, with him going and plan if he didn't go. So, um, you know, once they make a decision, that's it, you know, and, and you live with it and you get ready with what you have. So we have more than enough. Obi Toppin and Josh Hart started in place of Randall and Grimes, but it was R.J. Barrett who stole the show early. Barrett scored or assisted on 18 of the first 28 New York points and helped propel the Knicks to a 32-21 lead by the end of the first quarter. By half, the Knicks led Miami 55 to 50, and the combination of Jalen Brunson and Barrett had already combined for 28 points. Overall, Barrett went on to tally a game-high 26 points, along with nine boards and seven assists. Jalen Brunson finished his day with 25 points and seven dimes. All looked fine, but Miami was a different team in the second half. Plus, New York's inability to connect from range began to make a difference, as even when the Knicks made it close by driving to the paint and scoring there, Miami found thrifty ways to answer on the other end. All told, New York made just seven of 34 three-point attempts and were very limited in terms of what they could do today. When all was said and done, Brunson, who shot 0 of 7 from range, took responsibility. Yeah, it was horrific. Jimmy Butler totaled 25 points, 11 boards, and 4 assists for Miami. He also stayed in the game despite rolling his right ankle late in the final quarter. The Heat additionally got great showings from Gabe Vincent and Kyle Lowry. Vincent totaled 20 points and 5 assists, while Lowry offered 18 points and 6 dimes. Once again, your final score is the Miami Heat 108, the New York Knicks 101. The boys from South Beach take a 1-0 series edge in the best of seven. New York will pivot their attention to Tuesday's game two when they once again host the Heat at the Mecca. With WFUV Sports, I'm Colin Loughran.